So, you know, to be perfectly frank in terms of who we're recruiting here to be a veterinarian, you have to be passionate about cats. You know, that's all we do here. Dogs aren't allowed in the front door. So if you're interested in being a generalist with, you know, cats on the side, that's just simply not what we do. But if you want to develop a deep knowledge and expertise in an area that I think is underserved in veterinary medicine with its own unique problems, this is absolutely the place to come work. At Feline Medical Center, we're looking for a veterinarian to join our team who wants to become a part of the family that we are. We have a lot of long-term employees and it's important that we find somebody who feels the same way about cats as we do. And because they're so small, we just, we, we do see ourselves as a family. So to find somebody who, who not only wants to help cats in the best way they can, but could also work well with us and be a good team member would be a really great addition. At Feline Medical Center, we have all the top-notch technology you need to effectively practice medicine. We have digital x-rays, in-house lab work, but most effectively, we have uh, top-notch technicians that are very skilled and very experienced in handling, managing, taking care of all the requirements that you need to effectively practice veterinary medicine. I've been at VCA Feline Medical Center for about three months now and I absolutely love it here. I'm just so excited to be learning from people that really love the profession that they're in and every day I can go home knowing that I did something that really means something. Reno is a great area to live in. We have the mountains at our back door, beautiful Lake Tahoe. There's trails, fishing, boating, all sorts of things to do in our town. So Reno is truly the biggest little city. Our hospital is just very easy to find. We're kind of up on a hill. We have a beautiful view. The VCA is an excellent place to practice veterinary medicine. They let us kind of be here and do our own medical work with the cats. And in the background, they take care of everything that we need taken care of. We have a chief medical officer, regional directors, specialists of all sorts that we can reach out to when we have questions, concerns, problem cases that are really just a phone call away. From a personal perspective, of course, they've got the requisite benefits, 401k plans, but it's really great to know that they are kind of behind the scenes managing the finances so we don't really have to. So earlier this year, we lost our uh, medical director and founder, uh, Dr. Scott Thompson. Veterinarian for over 40 years, founded this clinic over 20 years ago, and was a dear friend and mentor to me. Um, everything that he has lived for, we are trying to carry out for him. Honestly, the, the reason that I stuck around, you know, is that I cared about things that he cared about. The way that we handle the cats isn't like any other hospital. We're not just trying to get one done and another done and another done like an assembly line. Here, we really want to take the time to get to know the cat and, and do what's right for that individual. We train people to be able to do that. They, they know the different techniques for holding. They know when to let up. They know all the important things that it takes to be a really good cat caregiver. I just love everything that he has done for us. Uh, 24 years ago, I walked through the doors of Feline Medical Center and met one of the most kind-hearted and special people that I've ever come across in my life. I will forever be grateful for Dr. Thompson and all that he taught me and how customer service and patient care um, is the most important thing and, and I will do everything I can to instill those values in, in all of my team to carry his legacy on. He had a saying that he would say at least three times a week you know, that the cats come first. Uh, if he was at his own medical appointment down the street and there was something that needed his attention, he'd be here in a heartbeat cats come first. Um, and we try to keep that philosophy, you know, everything we do here. And it's just our way of kind of trying to promote his legacy here. It's a special place. He made it a real special place. I hope you come visit and just appreciate kind of what he's created here and what we're keeping going. I, I think you'll like it.